Jackson. Cameron Jackson, you were all shown. All of you seen it. He is a bad man. You've seen the bad man that he actually is now. He tried having men attack me. He tried having men just attack me. You all seen it. Cameron Jackson. See, this is the thing. Eastern Chaos Battle Fest. I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing this for all of you. I'm keeping this bad man off of the streets. I'm keeping this bad man off of your computer screens because he's a criminal. You know what he did? He stole a very valuable item to the Van Pelt Incorporated company. He stole one of our biggest diamonds. And all I'm trying to do is do what I can to get it back. People, I'm just doing this for you and my company. And Cameron, now that everybody's going to see you for the bad person that you are with my amazing propaganda film. Speaking of which, you got all that, right? Yeah. Uh, I think they heard me say cut. What? Okay, listen, man. It's not my fault. What do you mean? We went back to editing and... They, for some reason, left me saying cut and, like, you getting up and... So... Shit! I was supposed to show Cameron Jackson for the real bad man that he is! This could have been my shot at finally getting the people! And you ruined it! I, I didn't do anything, man! Oh, my God. Ah, uh, look. All I was trying to do is to show everybody that Cameron Jackson is a bad man. And what had to happen? They had to hear you say cut, huh? Blame post-production. Post-production? Post-production? Okay, look. I'm gonna be straight up with all of you. Cameron Jackson's not the bad man that all of you just seen. Cameron Jackson is apparently God to all of you. But to me, he's nothing but a false god. He is no god to me. Cameron Jackson is a fake. He's a phony of the backyard wrestling world. Look into my eyes. Look at how serious I am when I say this, Cameron Jackson. At Eastern Chaos Wrestling Battle Fest, when me and you step in that ring, one on one, I'm gonna tell you this right now, Cameron. You, at the end of it, will not have a leg to stand on. You will be lying on your back three seconds after you hear the words, money shot. And then one, two, three, I hold the belt up high and Cameron Jackson is no more. What did he say? What did he say on his promo? Skinny bitch, he's a skinny bitch. Skinny bitch and he ain't worth shit. But see Cameron, that might be true. 
But think of this. I am the man who beat Cameron Jackson clean. Clean? Clean? I am the man who had you lying on your back looking at me. Cameron, and I'm already beating you in your mind because obviously I did something right. If I finally got you to say something, if I finally got you to cut a promo on me, I'm doing something right. What does he say? What are the words? It's you looking at me, little girls looking at their mothers. But Cameron, they're not allowed to look at their mothers the same way. And you know why? Because every single one of those wrestlers and every single one of those little girls have seen their mother with Victor Van Pelt. That's why, Kevin, that's why Kevin, that's why Kevin has to deal with a father like me. It's because of you, Cameron. Cameron, you see, I realized, I really thought about this, and there's only one thing that I actually wanted with this whole deal. And that's to get rid of the FTC. That is to get rid of the follow that curve. You got Cameron. Six. Drew. Beyond. And Mike. Beyond. I'm gonna make sure that there is no FTC, and why? Why? Cameron, I really don't wanna do this, buddy. I don't wanna get rid of the FTC. Heck, I wanted to be in the FTC, Cameron. I wanted to be in the Follow That Crew. I wanted to be with you and Drew and Mike. But what happened when I was a little kid and I came up to you, Cameron, and I said, Cameron, listen, I'm a really big fan of Follow That Crew. I'm a really big fan. I want to be a part of the FTC. What did you say to me, Cameron? What did you say to me when I was a young million dollar boy? You said, son, you're just not good enough to roll with the FTC. Son, you're just not good enough to be with Drew, Mike, and I. And Cameron, you broke my heart. You left me bawling my eyes out, crying home to my mother. And saying, Cameron wouldn't let me in the FTC, Mom. Cameron wouldn't let me in the FTC. But well, what now, Cameron? What now, Cameron? I'm almost better than you are. Cameron. I want you at Battlefest so I can get my opening that I died for then in the FTC. I want to get my payback for being that little kid that you made cry. And Cameron, I know me, me crying makes me look like a bitch. But you making a little kid cry makes you look like a piece of shit. And Cameron, that's exactly what you are. To me and to all those fans. In my heart, you're nothing more than the dirt beneath my shoe. Cameron, you have no clue what this means to me. I want my payback, Cameron. I want my payback for what you did to me years ago. All I wanted, all I wanted was to be with you, Drew and Mike. All I wanted was to be in the FTC, but no, no. Cameron said, Victor, you're not good enough. Victor, you won't make it. But look at what I've done in my career now. I'm almost better than Cameron Jackson. I'm almost better than Drew Hood. I'm almost better than Big Time Mike. Heck, I'm almost better than Devon McDonald. I'm almost better than Jordan Oliver. I'm almost better than Yankee Santiago. Because I've done more in my beginning stages as a wrestler than you have done in your whole life. I have my shot for the Proving Grounds Championship already in my hand. I am the Eastern Chaos Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. I am undefeated in DBW. Nobody has made me lie on my back and nobody has pinned me. I'm undefeated in BEW. Nobody's made me lie on my back and nobody's pinned me. 
I am the top prospect of backyard wrestling today. I am the diamond of the industry, the 24 karat man, the OG a million dollar, the bank account cleaner, the king of dollar style, and especially your mother's favorite wrestler, Cameron Jackson. Put those pinky rings up. Because Cameron, by the end of it all, I will be in the FTC.